star football player, star baseball player, track and field star, and star farmer. He does it on the field and in the classroom, and that's why Bozeman's Peyton Gate is our News 13 Scholar Athlete of the Week. Calling Bozeman senior Peyton Gay an all-around athlete wouldn't do his high school career justice. He played for the baseball program's first state finals team as a sophomore, led the Bucks to their program's first Final Four as a senior, and just for the fun of it, picked up javelin throw this spring, where he's got a pretty good chance at earning a state medal. That would be pretty cool. I can add that to my resume, and I mean, that would just be really cool to add that. I mean, like you said, football and baseball have been the Final Four and baseball have been the state, but this would be cool just to go to state in something my first year I've never tried before. Well, this spring was the first time he ever tried javelin. Gay is already the Bay County record holder in the event, beating out another thrower who's already signed Division I for the sport. His coach says he's never seen anyone make such a difficult event look so easy. He's amazing. His technique is really, really good. And for, some, for a first year thrower, it's just absolutely amazing to pick up the technical side as fast as he did. It might sound impossible, but Gay says he puts in even more work in the classroom. He holds a 4.0 GPA, is heavily involved in the Bozeman Agricultural Program, where he was recently named a finalist for the FFA's prestigious Star Farmer Award. I have a top four in Star Farmer, top four in proficiency, and I have a state degree this year in FFA. And I can't, I couldn't do any of that without Ms. Pelton and her help, so I just thank you, Ms. Pelton. To earn the recognition by the Future Farmers of America, Gay has been working on this same project since middle school, raising geese in a domesticated environment to try and get them off of the threatened list. A half decade later, he's helped raise around 400 geese, promoting a much higher fertility and hatch rate. I've had trial and error with incubators and humidity and stuff, so I mean, I've, I've went down and up and down and up, and I finally figured out how to do it, and I'm still learning, and hopefully I can help them get off the threatened list. The agricultural studies aren't just a high school hobby. Gay wants to study animal science in college with hopes to one day return to Bay County as a travel veterinarian for large animals. I want to be a traveling one, so if anybody needs me, call me. I'll be back in eight years maybe. The where for Gay's higher level studies is already set in stone. He signed a preferred walk-on scholarship with the Texas A&M football team this spring, and he says that the opportunity would have never been possible without his work in the classroom. I wouldn't be able to do the things I want to do today with Texas A&M without my academics and without my animal science and everything. So just keeping your grades up in the classroom sets you apart, just not only in sports, but in colleges itself. I mean, I could, I could not do this with, my, with lower grades or having bad grades. The, the, the grades have set me apart from other people. Gay will be competing at the track and field regionals this upcoming week. And with that work ethic, don't be surprised if you see him competing on Saturdays in a couple of years with those Texas A&M Aggies.